Ayan River Basin is located in the northern portion of Sarangani Province, including some of its boundaries in South Cotabato and General Santa City. It is between two protected areas, the Mount Matutum Protected Landscape and Sarangani Bay Protected Seascape. It is a 142,420 hectare watershed that spans the mountains of Malungan, Alabel, and some portions of Mount Matutum. Water accumulates and flows through its streams and rivers draining out to Sarangani Bay, which is a habitat to 2,400 marine species. It brings more than 683 million gallons of water per day to the bay. It's about 2.5 billion liters of water flowing through its rivers and creeks. Thinking about mountains, rivers, and creeks, one would imagine a lush of forested lands and trees with beautiful wildlife thriving in the area. But the sad story is that the forest reserves in the area have become brushlands over time. Coming with deforestation is erosion. The great lack of trees in the Malungan Boayan River Basin has made about half of the area suffer severe erosion. This situation causes land degradation. It also results to temporary or permanent decline in productive capacity of the land, loss of biodiversity, landslides, and increased vulnerability of the environment and people. Reality is, the Maluan Boayan River Basin is home to a number of inhabitants, including indigenous people, who are independent on the resources of the area and are endangered by the consequences of deforestation. Wildlife in the area and people residing nearby are also at risk. Aside from the adverse effects of deforestation in the river basin, severe erosion and sedimentation of Sarangani Bay have become natural outcomes of the prior. The sediments themselves act as pollutants and are the carriers of pesticides and other heavy metals to the bay. The effect of increased sediment loads on aquatic ecosystems can be catastrophic. Silt can smaller the spawning pads of fish. It can also cause major respiratory issues for them as sediments enter their gills. The biodiversity of aquatic plant and algae life is reduced. Invertebrates are also unable to survive and reproduce. Even if a sedimentation event itself might be relatively short-lived, the ecological disruption caused by this can persist long into the future. If the poor situation of the Maluan Boayan River Basin continues, its land will degrade, the inhabitants will suffer, and the beauty of Sarangani Bay may be lost. Some efforts have been made by some concerned government institutions to help alleviate the river basin from deforestation. Intervention include tree planting in the upland and mangrove planting by the bay, but these will not pull off if worked only by a few. This is why, in 2014, the DNR Penro Sarangani, in partnership with the provincial government of Sarangani, regional line agencies, concerned local government units, and other stakeholders facilitated the organization of the Malungan Boayan River Basin Management Council. The council, headed by the Sarangani governor, Steve Chongbian Solon, shall oversee the implementation of all development undertakings in the river basin. Clearly, there's a lot to optimize when it comes to revitalizing the water basin. A lot of research, planning, and investments must be done. Another rising concern is global warming, which makes interventions more challenging. So, we have to unite and collaborate. We dream of the next generation experiencing nature richer than it is now. We have to do something about it. The Maluan Boayan River Basin is not the only vital natural water system that is in danger, but we can start here. Restoring the river basin is a step forward in making the world a better place. How about you? What can you do to help?